salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little sit down chit chat video where I'm gonna to talk to you guys a, a little bit about what I choose to review and why most importantly talking to you guys about the fragrances I choose not to review so if you guys would like a little bit more information on this channel and why I choose to review what I do then keep watching First off, let me just preface this by saying this might change my opinions, how I want to grow my channel or um, how I want to um, review fragrances on my channel. This could most definitely change. But currently this is like my mindset. And the reason why I am mentioning this is because I get a lot of you guys in the comment section on Instagram asking me to review, review fragrances or saying your channel will grow a lot faster uh, if you review these types of fragrance. And I'm always so super duper grateful to anybody who takes time out of their day to watch my videos and care enough to give me advice um, and critique on my channel. I definitely view that all as a positive because nobody has to do that. And the fact that um, it shows that you guys want this channel to succeed and grow and you're giving your insight and your knowledge as somebody who is a member of the fragrance community and who participates with comments on a Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff and you're participating and saying we would like you to grow this is what we'd see um, this is what we see other channels doing that grows this would be great for you um, I definitely view that all as a positive so but I did kind of want to address why I don't do um, some of the things that seem so common knowledge to grow my channel. Now I do want to see my channel grow. I would love to watch this channel prosper. Um, and it is, um, I do have ambitions for this channel. Let's just let's be honest with that. I do have ambitions with this channel. However, I also don't want to ever have it be something that I'm not proud of. So the thing that I am very proud of with this channel, and I'm just gonna, it's, this is what I'm saying I feel like I have, but this is not for me to tell you that I have, this is for me to demonstrate to you and prove to you that I have, is I feel like I have a lot of integrity on my channel. Now I'm not saying that anyone else has doesn't have integrity, in fact I think everyone does, but when it comes down to my channel, I've never once in the like almost a year and a half that I've been doing these um, videos has ever done anything just because I thought it would get me views and that's kind of like what I mean there's nothing that I've done that I felt like I had to do to reach a milestone in subscribers to reach a milestone in reviewers in fact I've turned down a lot of opportunities some which were would have provided for me monetarily wise like sponsorships or had given me products and things like that or would have definitely shown a huge increase in subscribers and in um in viewers and things like that and views so for me i'm very proud of that and what i mean by integrity is that i've never taken a sponsorship i haven't solely been behind i've never reviewed anything that i feel like I sugarcoated. I mean, my reviews are very honest. Again, that's for me to prove to you. It's not for me to tell you, but it's for me to always constantly prove to you. But I'm very proud of my integrity when it comes to this channel and the content that I put out. Now that being said, again, I'm not knocking anyone else's channel, specifically in the fragrance community, and I'm planning on probably in the next few weeks doing a video talking to you guys about um, sponsored content and things like that because I do want to have a level of transparency with my channel so if that is something that you guys would really like to see let me know in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to go way in depth with that um, to the best of my abilities being one of the smaller channels or a very small channel um, or if you have any specific questions that I can answer more immediately let me know in the comment section below but when it comes down to my content I don't I had this specific thing about my channel. I think I look at the fragrance community, and I'm not just talking about on YouTube. I'm not just talking about um, on Facebook. I'm talking about in general. I'm talking about blogs and articles and magazines and forums like Base Notes and Fragrantica. And I look to see what is underappreciated. What is a like a pocket that I feel needs 
to be represented. And then I like to do reviews on those, so that's indie fragrances. That's why you'll see me talk a lot about Demeter. Um, and you'll see um, reviews on Etsy brands and things like that because I feel like those are beautiful fragrances and underappreciated fragrances in the fragrance community. Now, when we're looking at the big heavy hitters, and I'm going to use this fragrance as an example, but this kind of encompasses all the fragrances like that. Let's talk about Aventus. Aventus is a fragrance I will probably not be reviewing on my channel. Now, I may decide to do it in the future, and it's one of those things that you guys have mentioned if you reviewed more of these types of fragrances, more masculine fragrances, more of the hyped fragrances, more new releases, that I would get more subscribers and more viewers. But the reason why I actually specifically choose not to review those fragrances is because I feel that they are already ridiculously well represented within the fragrance community. There are so many amazing reviews of Aventus for people who love it and hate it. There's so many amazing reviewers out there who dedicate most of their channel to masculine fragrances and they do a tremendous job that I feel like my voice just kept lost in the mix. I don't really have anything to add to that area of the fragrance community. But when it comes down to YouTube and fragrance reviews, there are some fragrances and some genres of fragrances that I feel are underrepresented, and that's kind of what I want to do with my channel. I want to have a nice mix. Obviously, if I like a Creed fragrance, I'm going to talk about a Creed fragrance. If I like a Rasha fragrance, I'm going to talk about a Rasha fragrance. If I'm excited about a new release, of course I'm going to talk about it. But if it's just to review for views, I'm not going to do it. Or if I feel like my voice isn't necessary, I'd rather use the same amount of time to talk about something else that I'm really passionate about. Which is again, why you see me talk about Demeter, why you see me talk about some of these other niche houses um, that don't get a lot of attention in the fragrance community. Now they might get a lot of attention on YouTube, but do understand YouTube is not the fragrance community. We are our own separate little entity and we are quite small considering the huge, ginormous fragrance community out there on Fragrantica, on base notes, um, and just in general, like we are very tiny. We're like a more visual because we are on a video, but when it comes down to being a part of the fragrance community, we're a small subset. So I like to talk about fragrances that I feel are underappreciated and underrepresented in the YouTube community and also somewhat in the fragrance community because I feel that they deserve to have somewhat of a voice. Now that doesn't mean that everyone's going to like them and they might be underappreciated for a reason. They might not have mass appeal. They might not perform the way that a lot of people prefer their fragrances to perform or they might be so crazy conceptual that not everybody likes it and that's totally fine there might be a reason why they don't have a lot of hype around it but that doesn't mean that i don't want to talk about them and that i don't think that they deserve at least to be on the same platform and be talked about and respected like other fragrances so when it comes down to my channel those are like the two main reasons why you don't see me talk about a lot of masculine fragrances because they have so much love and attention and are definitely very appreciated and you can go pretty much anywhere on any platform you can go on fragrantica base notes youtube facebook groups and you can find a wealth of very experienced articulate <laughs> reviews from people who have a passion and knowledge and experience with those fragrances. And I feel like I would not add anything to the conversation, which is why you don't see me talking about a lot of men's fragrances, unless it's a fragrance I myself love and own. Because I just, I know that I wouldn't add anything to the conversation. And I also don't talk about crazy hype beasts for the same reason, and also because I prefer to talk about some underappreciated fragrances um, or groups of fragrances on my channel. Now, I'm not the only one that does it. There's a pretty much what I've noticed on every single fragrance reviewer. I've seen everyone has that one thing that they do, and that's their baby. They talk about niche. They talk about this one specific like exclusive line, this one specific brand. And I feel like that's where you really are seeing the personalities. That's where you're really seeing the passions come through. I love watching reviewers just talk about their babies, talking about the lines that get them excited, talking about the houses that just really ignite their passion. And with every reviewer, there is that 
one thing. And I'm not going to sit here and say this person does this and this person does this. But if you watch their videos with regularity, you'll see it. And I think that is so awesome. So the reason why I don't kind of go off and review Savage, the reason why I'm not going to probably ever, I don't know, it could change, review Aventus or Aventus for her. While you won't see me talk about a lot of the rela latest releases in the men's fragrance category or even sometimes in the women's is because there's already so much of a voice to those fragrances and I want my channel to be kind of a nice blend of everything. I want this channel to be a blend of designer, a blend of niche, a blend of affordable, a blend of luxury. I want you to be able to find just about any little thing that isn't represented in the community here. And the other reason why I think it's somewhat important is because, and I get this all the time and I see it on so many other fragrance reviewers channels who are women is that there's not many women in the YouTube fragrance community who create content. And that does not mean that we are underrepresented when it comes down to members, active members of the fragrance community, because I feel like it's about equal. But when it comes down to people creating content, women don't create that much. And I've really discovered that because on my blog, I'm working on indexing every single fragrance reviewer, everybody, even if they haven't made content in like six years, I'm working on indexing everybody. And I did the ladies first and I constantly add because there's going to be people I miss and I'm going to link those, um, the two I have below. I'm working on the third and I'll talk a little bit more about them at the end of the video. But I noticed that it took me a few hours to do the women and it took me weeks to do half of the men, not even half of the men, probably a third of the guys. There's so many guys out there. And so what I like about my channel is, is not only am I trying to give reviews on underappreciated fragrances, I'm doing it as a female fragrance reviewer. Now I'm not talking all about girl power kind of stuff, but I do feel like having a variety of different opinions from different people, from different walks of life and different environments and different areas is very important. So when I'm reviewing something, I'm going to look at people who have an endless budget and then look at people who are saving up for that bottle or look at people who collect this type and then venture a different way. I like to see different, a different variety of people review the same things and that helps me get a really balanced review overall to decide if it's something I want to buy or not buy. So I am adding a little bit of weight to my review because I am one of the fewer women fragrance reviewers and I would love to see this, um, just in general, the YouTube fragrance community grow specifically with the women. So that is another reason why I choose to do what I do and I kind of went off on weird tangents, so yeah. But I did figure it would be kind of interesting to sit down and talk to you guys, uh, talk to you guys about this. Now, I'm like I said, I might change my mind. I might decide I want to take my channel in another direction. I definitely have ambitions for my channel and I definitely want to see it grow. And I am so grateful for all the opportunities you guys have given me because it's without you guys, I wouldn't have these opportunities. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be sent things to review. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have opportunities to go places and do things and just have all of this amazing things have happened because of my YouTube channel. And remember, I am a tiny channel. So, I mean, I never thought I would have in the three digits of <laughs> of subscribers, let alone almost 2,500 at this point, and having all these opportunities in less than like a few years. I didn't even think I would get it at all. So it's because of you guys that I have this channel. And that's why I constantly want you guys to know how grateful I am to you. And I want to give back. And that's why your input is so important. And that's why when you guys take time out of your day to watch my videos, to, con uh, to comment, to talk to me on Instagram, to watch my live streams, uh, live streams on Instagram, and most importantly, to critique, to say, this is what would, do, uh, this is what would make your channel grow. This is what we would like to see. I that means so much to me because that's time out of your day to do that. So thank you. But I did kind of want to discuss this a little bit about why I choose to do what I do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't done like a sit down chit chat in a while. Um, but if you guys have any questions, comments, again, critiques are always welcome. Please let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to link the um, 
for the indexing of the fragrance reviewers. The first one I did are the ladies. If you guys read through that and you see anybody missing whatsoever, please let me know. I will add them within the next few days. The first section um, of the men's fragrance reviewers I did were got people who have been doing it for three years or more. And so the next article, which I'm currently working on and it's taking me a very long time, is going to be uh, the people who have been doing it for three years or less. After that, I'm going to be doing collaboration channels. So you might see that some people are missing from the women's or the men's side, but if there are two people or more for that channel or that series, then what I'm going to do is have them be part of that collaboration channel. Most specifically, you guys, for the um, the women's fragrances, you guys were like, the perfume pros, why are they on your women's? It's because they're a collaboration channel between two amazing women, and I wanted to make sure that they were part of the collaboration channel because there's not going to be too many people on that list, and I feel like I can develop... Um, put more time into talking about their amazing channel. So that's kind of why I've decided to do what I do and break it up so it's not just everybody. So that way if you want to find just women or if you want to find the people who have been doing it for three or more years or some of the newcomers that you could have, it's a little bit easier to um, navigate. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. This video is a lot longer than I expected. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, guys, if you like my fragrance videos, these types of chit-chatty vloggy videos, or just my videos in general, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Because it's free, and I'm free, and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, and sometimes on the weekends as well. So always have something free to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy, and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. So wave viciously at you. <laughs> Bye.